ngiari uguo ri ni mwaiguo ria gwathie kuria kirinyaga kuri andu moragwo ni njohi na riu uri andu aitu ri dikiwe mukaigua hitiria ikamuri ya mithimo tondu uhoro ti hindi ya mbere kana hindi ya 10 na nikio jugaga Johi haria ya nyitwo igaitwo na aria marugite magatwarwo igotini na njuge atiriri andu aria mararuga johi ciri no andu aitu ogwo doiga gutire mukabika na muikamba kana mujaru umaga na kuga karehere andu aitu johi no ithwi tondu thina witu agikuyu ni gukoroka twakorokire tahiti We are burning our children. Every day we are burning our children. Parents are burning their children. And you have wicked people, hateful people, who are going and selling poison to our children and killing them. Those are murderers. And we are keeping quiet. And the law is very lenient to the murderers of our children. It is time. To speak against it. And the one who can speak, it is the church. That is where on the altar I have said this must stop. So we must fight this demon. This satanic agenda, we must fight it. And if the laws are not going to fight it, we are going to fight it the heavenly way. Yes, on that very day. As I read my church to see how many young people have been destroyed by drugs and, and, and alcohol. I launched this campaign of the boy child and my slogan still remains the same until today that it is easier to build a boy than to repair a man. And for sure, that is very true. It is more easier to build a boy than to repair a man. But as a church, we kept quiet. Even when we saw alcohol coming and being sold, we kept quiet. But thanks be to God that now he has raised leaders who do not drink in this nation that our president and Mama Rachel, they don't drink, and our deputy president, G and Pastor Dorcas, don't drink. And that gives us a lot of hope that this fight now, we have some roots. Praise be to God. I say this is the best way to start the fight against alcoholism and drug abuse because we know that excessive use of alcohol affects people physically and also mentally. And this leads to diseases, liver damage, heart disease, depression, and even anxiety. And ultimately, if not treated, it can even cause death. Now I want to add you, my people, this is a journey we have started and i want to urge you that after this you follow up with our clinics in all the government hospitals because in our hospitals we have experts counselors who can work with you and lead you to recovery we
basi kwa heshima yako ya SK wameweza kuwasaidia bwana Sospita Mungai aweze kupeana just a small testimony <tos> tenants ambao wamekondeshwa nyumba hapa alikuwa anapika akiwa mlevi akasahau na alikuwa anapika stove ikalipuka ika na hiyo moto nayo ikashika kwa sababu nyumba ambazo tunaishi ni za mabati na zingine unapata zimepigwa ma plywood ambao hizo zote ni product za moto kwa hivyo moto ilianza kuenea na ikaenea kwa jia haraka sana because kulikuwa na mitungi ya gas bado ambayo ilikuwa ikaendelea na kulipuka moto ukaendelea kuwa mkubwa sana. Na wakati moto ilipuka ili tulipigia watu wa county government ya fire extinguishers. Na waliweza kukuja na walipokuja walikuja na maji kidogo sana because hawakuweza kutumiza ile ahadi yao ya kuzima moto because gari lao iliisha moto. Nayo moto ikaendelea kuwa kubwa na ikachoma kila kitu. Kwa duka yangu ilikuwa na thamani ya 570,000 na zingine tulianza kuokoa na zingine hatukuweza kuokoa zingine zikaibiwa at that moment